Hello. Good morning. You're thinking, what is this guy doing up at 12, 13 in the morning in Phoenix, Arizona? Because I fell asleep on the old couch early and I just got up about 11.30ish. And I couldn't sleep, so I got up and had some coffee. I'm having some water now. I thought I'll come out here and leave a little way. I didn't whittle anything yesterday, so I've got something on here that a friend gave me. He's on TikTok. It's Peace in Fire. His name is William. He's probably asleep because he lives in Georgia. And I did one other piece that he I didn't do on live that was a this is totally organic as far as that. He's right out of the forest and put on the way. It's pretty cool. But uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try this. I hope it doesn't blow off the, the mount. Because <laughs> but it carves out pretty easy. So we'll see what happens. I'm wishing for the best. It's only the second time I've done a piece like this. It's totally uh, just a log and see what happens, you know. And the allergies are going crazy today. Good gosh. Anyways, let's just hope I hope everybody's doing well this morning. There's a bunch of people out there. Yeah, I see a few. Just say hi, where are you from? We'll get started here in a little bit. Yeah, people popping in, popping out. Let's see who's gonna stick uh, stick around with me here. Yeah, we're gonna turn this, see what happens. This is kind of new to me. One guy on here named William, like I said, he, he gave me this wood. He sent it to me from Georgia, and uh, he does a lot of this. He's really good at it. His name is Peace the Peace and Fire, named William. But uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I tell you, it's great to see quite a few of you. <coughs> Like I said, my allergies are going nuts today. I think this is maple. But I'm not real sure. <laughs> I'm from Arizona. We don't have maple. Phoenix, anyway, if you don't. Well, it looks like I got a few people. Well, listen, how you doing? Boy, there's a lot of people on early in the morning compared to when I go up. Later on in the morning, everybody's getting ready to go to work, except me. West Virginia, I've got, my dad was from West Virginia. Moundsville, West Virginia in the Panhandle. That's where my dad was from and my grandparents on, the, on my dad's side. Great, nice to have you. Oh, okay. Northern Carolina, my goodness. Hey, how's everybody? <laughs> I think I'm ready for more coffee, to tell you the truth. I should have had another cup. I might do that. Yeah, I know. I'm up late. I I, woke, I fell asleep early, and I got up about 11.30. I, thought, I didn't do anything yesterday. I just kind of laid around and took it easy. But, yeah, I'm about This is stuff that William gave me. <clears throat> From uh, Peace and Fire, he's on TikTok. He turns a lot of this totally organic log. He just makes them into something beautiful. California, not Carol. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> California, okay. Sorry about that. No eyes on today. They're here somewhere. There they are. <laughs> oh, well. When you're old, you can make mistakes like that. <laughs> Tennessee. <clears throat> I was stationed at Tennessee. Actually, Clarksville, Kentucky, but I, I, me and a couple guys had a, a house on the Tennessee side, Clarksville. But, uh, yeah, I've been all over. Tennessee, yeah, nice. I like all those states like that, you know, rolling hills, bluegrass, music. I love bluegrass music, man. I'm a big bluegrass fan. 
I like to go to them bluegrass. If you if you want a, a, a wonderful family outing, go to a bluegrass festival. I don't care if you don't like the music. Hey. But go to one of their more fun. You just sit around and just enjoy some crazy music. These people can play them instruments, you know. So if you haven't gone to a bluegrass festival, I don't care if you're into rock and roll, heavy metal, rap. Go to a bluegrass festival. You'll have a great time. Great food, you know. But uh, it's wonderful. I love them. Been to a few of them. I like to go to more. I've seen a lot of great musicians through the years. I've seen Sierra Hall three times. I've seen Ricky Skaggs. I've seen uh, Della May. I don't even know if they're together anymore. All girl, uh, bluegrass band, wonderful, great musicians and singers. Uh, and, that, and Michael Cleveland, he's a blind fiddle player. He's crazy good. I've seen him. Just a bunch of people, more than I can remember. But uh, like I said, want a good family time? Go to a bluegrass festival. Can't say enough about them. Have fun with them. But uh, yeah, well, I appreciate you guys. People are popping in and popping out. But. Uh, I guess I should get going, but man, like I said, my allergies are going crazy. So I might have to stop a few times and you know how that is. Well, I guess we got to get going. See how this goes. When I start carving it out, I hope it doesn't blow off this thing, but I think it'll be okay. I'll take it easy. You got to go easy with these things because of the, <laughs> how irregular it's shaped and whatnot. So let's get going. It's gonna, we're gonna get crocking on this and hopping.
It's like I have an unstable connection. Sorry about that. I just realized that. It's probably popping in, popping out, huh? I just knows that I have a good connection, so sorry about that if I'm in and out. It happens. I don't know why. Oh, my goodness. Still have one little flat spot here. This is going to be beautiful. I think this is... How you doing? Everybody. I think this is spalted, they call it. Maple. I'll have to ask William when, when I talk to him next. But uh, now I'm going to start carving it out inside here. We'll see what happens. Hope for the best. Hope it don't blow up. Unstable connection. I'm sorry about that. I have an unstable connection. I'm in and out, apparently. So, sorry about that, people. I don't know what's going on.
I'm here. Well, hope this don't blow off. I've got it mounted on with four screws, so we'll see what happens. How many people are here? Who's still here? I know people have been in and out, but that's okay. Man, I tell you, allergies. Crazy. This is the time of year for allergies. Ah. I'm trying to make a, a little bowl out of this uh, guy sent it to me from Georgia. He's on here on TikTok. His name is William. He goes by Peace and Fire. Maybe you've seen him on here. And he does a lot of this organic stuff. He just gets out of the woods, puts it on the lathe, spins it, does some awesome work. I think this is maple. Call it spalted maple. I'm a little. I'm from Arizona, so I'm not real familiar with a lot of this wood. I know what it is, but I just don't have anything like this. I can go get it in, in, a, in mill type lumber, but I can't get it like this. So this is awesome. So hope for that. Hope it don't fly off here because I'm starting to carve it out. I might use it. 
I might use my two inch, two and three inch bore. I might bore it out a little bit here. So let's see what happens. Make it go quicker. <coughs> I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to bore this thing out and then carve it out.
तो थोड़ा सो के Try to ignore anybody. I think I'm making a little bowl in case you. That's a new question. Oh yeah, I think I answered that already. Excuse me, I've got allergies today, big time. But I've got it bored out pretty good. Yeah, we're on the we're on the mark. I'm going to carve this out a little bit in here. Man, this is going to be beautiful. This is, I think, spalted maple. I could be wrong. I have to ask the guy that gave it to me there again. Lives in Georgia. And nobody's here, it says. Who knows? It says zero, so. This is cool. I'm digging this. Pretty cool. People are in here. afraid of that. I had a crack there. That's good. That's good. Oh, I had a blow up. I was hoping I didn't catch that crack. She lost another piece there. Sorry. Well, there you go. You have your good, bad, and uglies. And this is my ugly. I think I can glue it back together, but I'm not going to do it right now. Oh man, I'm bummed. I should have left it alone. It blew up on me. It blew up on me. I gotta get my glasses. I had one blow up on me. Darn it. I'm gonna glue that back together though. I'm gonna glue it back together. Yeah, it blew up on me. It had a crack here. I think my tool grabbed it and blew it off. There's another piece around here somewhere. But you know what? I can glue it back together. And I will. So I guess I'm going to have to call this an evening. Sorry, folks. I blew it up. Boom. This is what happens. It just does. When there's cracks, imperfections. I'm okay. I'm uh, I'm gonna fix this. And I will put it back on the way to finish it because you won't even know that it's not natural because there's so many little different 
cracks on here, so I'm okay with that. So I want to put it back on the drawing board. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks out some of the dust. You don't get you don't get everything, but it gets some of the real fine stuff. So it does help, you know, keep it out of the old nose, you know. But uh, you know, you don't get it all, like I said. But it helps. Anything you can do to help. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got. Here's the deal. I'm in a double garage and I have my uh, wet vac outside and it puts the heat out there and the noise because I have a roll. I a, bought a bunch of hose so I could do that. Otherwise, your wet vac hose is not that long. But, uh, well, folks, I'm going to say goodnight because I blew it apart. I got to re glue it. So, God bless you all. God bless America. Okay. I will see you again soon, hopefully, and fix this thing and put it back on the lathe and spin it and finish it up. All right. Talk to y'all later. I'm leaving. <laughs>